Tell you, I, I, I'll save my Olympic questions for when our guest is out here. Maybe that can be one of the things that I'm obsessed with. Because yeah, our next guest is a, he's kind of a, well, armchair denotes like amateur. I mean, he's a, he's an expert. He doesn't have a PhD. He's a, he's a comedian and a writer, but he's, he's kind of an expert on obsession because he's got a feral audio podcast uh, about uh, obsession. Different people come on. They talk about the things they're obsessed with, and he gets to the bottom of them. Um, he's also uh, written like uh, amazing, uh, super funny, crazy shit for our friend James Urbaniak, who's uh, been on the show. Um, please welcome Joseph Scrimshaw. <laughs> I didn't realize until right before I, I was like, wait, jo am I 100% on your name? Like, that's, I, I kind of like, 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 it's Joseph Scrimshaw. I like that being part of my, na my name, just the hesitation. Yeah. It's uh, Joseph Scrimshaw. Yeah. Like, that's a good name. I had to, uh, 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 Alia Shawcat was on the uh, show uh, uh, a couple <laughs> episodes ago, and I, I, I can't even remember what, I, I paused, I was like, I don't think I've ever said her name out loud. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, Alia Shawcat. Like, 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 uh, anyways, it's, it's enough about me. <laughs> um, uh, so, so you, you, your podcast is called Obsessed. Yeah. So it is a borderline sort of dangerous therapy because I just uh, I thought it'd be fun and funny to ask people what they're obsessed with and then uh, kind of comically rate them. Uh, and then a lot of times people rate, are like, "He said rate." <laughs> <laughs> you can do that comically. Yes. <laughs> Consensual rating happens on my podcast. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, and sometimes people are like uh, dangerously into the thing, uh, and then I never have the guts to say like, "Yeah, you have a problem." <laughs> I like, How do you no, tell the difference? Because I was because uh, uh, Dustin suggested, "Well, maybe you should think of the things you're obsessed with." And I started to kind of tailspin because I think I, I might, and my therapist has used the word obsessive like in reference yeah. to me. I don't think she's being officially diagnostic in that capacity, <laughs> but she's saying she's like, "You have to understand that you like when you when you start." Like thinking about something, like you, it's hard for you to get off of it, right? Um, and uh, so that that goes for like, yeah, anything. And then I was wondering, like, like what's, how do you know? Is there a difference between first of all obs obsession, um, uh, loving something? Yeah. Like, like I know, th I feel like there's a difference there because you can love ant slash hate. You could be obsessed with cockroaches, right? And not and not want them to crawl on your arm. Um, but and then there's that third thing, which is just like addiction or compulsion like like is yeah. there do you draw, draw lines between these things if somebody were to come on your podcast steve uh, matt, matt gorley said he was obsessed with quicksand right <laughs> he thinks about quicksand all the time or he did in his childhood you guys talked about that yeah um, and he obsessively makes quicksand still he does like he knows the recipe of the perfect quicksand from the 80s like he knows how much oatmeal to use <laughs> and shit like that <laughs> um, is it so? Are there lines between that? Like, 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 do you ever have people you email them and go, "Hey, what are you obsessed with?" And they write you back. And do you ever write them back and go, "Well, that's uh, everybody's uh, obsessed with masturbation." <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one has offered masturbation. Uh, if they offered masturbation, I would take it in a second. All right. Well, uh, I guess now we know what this yeah. episode is. And... Uh, <laughs> I would I, be happy to talk with you. I my short, together about masturbation. My short list was because I didn't know it was like like like. like uh, well, I'm sorry. You can finish answering my. Oh dumb yeah, question. I just I, I think the big thing that I feel like I have learned about obsession doing this for a couple of years is that when people try to take a thing out of the element that it lives in, like a lot of times people will uh, like a band or a TV show, and to me, like truly obsessed with it when you find other ways to make it be a part of you. Oh, fun. So like when you like really like something, like. Oh, I like that TV show. Some people are like, I think I'm obsessed with Twin Peaks because I watched it all once. Right. Like, no, no. Right. Other people are like, no, I have a tattoo and I have to look at it at 1247 every day. It's of an owl from Twin Peaks. Like, right. It's when people try to make it a, a part of their lives outside of the original origin of the thing. Right. My, yeah, it's like our friend Derek Mears, who, uh, Derek's been on the show, uh, hasn't he? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, he plays Jason Voorhees, or did in some of the, uh, the Friday the Thirteenth, and he went to some horror convention, and a guy came up to him, and he had a tattoo of the Jason mask on the back of his shaved head, <laughs> and he asked Derek to sign the the base of his neck, and Derek's like, no, because I know what you're going to do, 
And he's like, just sign it. He's like, I'm not going to sign it so you can get a tattoo. He's like, I just, I just signed my neck. So Derek reluctantly did it. The guy came back the next day with the, you know, with the cellophane on it and the Vaseline. It's like now forever he's got Derek's name in a Sharpie tattooed on the base of his now, neck. Not to, he, not, yeah. not, to, not to derail, but I'm kind of fascinated now like what, what Derek's, you know. I remember feeling that way when I was 24. Seven and like somebody would somebody like I was working with Schraub and comic books and somebody would come up. Well, I remember a girl. I've told the story. A girl who was a super fan of an improv troupe we were in in Milwaukee. And when we br- the night that wow. we announced we were breaking up, she came she came into the dressing room with a basketball sized um, tattoo of our. 90s John Crick Felucci looking logo um, uh, on her thigh saying like I wish you had told me <laughs> like, like, and I don't know you know like, like I, I do I, I, am, I am I am a little interested in like like I th- but 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 that guy I don't know like also, I, I, that, that guy also when he, sh- he showed Derek his license he had legally changed his name to Jason Voorhees <laughs> That, that yeah. was his name on his driver's license. So, so, but, but, but that, okay, but that's not why Derek didn't want to put his signature on the back no, of his d- head. Derek didn't like, want to feel responsible for this guy's for his, obsession for art on his neck. Like, like, why, why do you want my, my signature on you for life? That's weird. Like, I, I don't want to be like, not like you're a weirdo, but just like I don't want to have that much. Influence you think it, on the rest yeah, of your he life. He should have like written his name and then underneath, "Do not tattoo." And see. <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Do you that. think in Derek's mind, this is where I would access it? It would be like the equivalent of if you were a um, uh, female uh, performer and uh, somebody, a girl, a young girl, came up to you and somehow, like, I'm trying to th- riff an example that's going to get me all kinds of trouble, but I'm like, also, it's like on this clear side of like, like if somebody was like. Can you? Can you? I, I'm so I'm so inspired by you and uh, and how beautiful you are. And I I like. Can you like? I don't know. T- I'm trying to. Th- what's the fucking example? Like, um, uh, uh, s- s- sign this uh, uh, t- tiny sandwich container. So every time I think of you, I can eat the smaller sandwich or something. And that you would go. I don't want to lend my. I don't want to endorse your. Um, you're, that's something that I think you actually need to deal with is that that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Like, by, by, uh, like, I like, think for Derek, if it was more just a little bit of bashfulness, like he just didn't feel like that was he was maybe worthy of that. Which I don't think. Yeah. So, if that's the only reason, then I I kind of came full circle, like because I used to I used to go, oh, that's a character from a comic book that my friend Rob drew. I dude, that's not important. Like now it's going to be on your calf forever. Like that's no good. But then I started to. Th- I, at some point, I was like, well. I guess it was probably all the community tattoos. I was like, "This is fine." Yeah, no, no, this is this is absolutely justified behavior. Yeah, Joseph, uh, do, did you start this because are you obsessive about things? Too? I am a very obsessive person. Like, uh, do, do you have a list of things, or is it all under one umbrella of obsessions? Oh, uh, no, I have a whole list of things. It's not, uh, it's it's a little bit. I'm sure the joke has been made. You're obsessed with obsession. Obviously, you I started am, a podcast yeah. about it. Yeah, but I mean, there me- there's always been media I've really liked. I'm a big Star Wars guy. Uh, in college, I, I got really into squirrels. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> when you say you got into squirrels, <laughs> I don't know if you know this about squirrels on campuses, but they're very friendly. Yeah. They're extra friendly. Also, uh, squirrels on film. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, there was a there was a squirrel in my neighborhood. I mean, squirrels are very easily. They're so close to cats, so like evolutionarily. I mean, they'll they're they'll they will. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you if they, like anywhere that they're not getting actively killed all the time, they'll like. If you go like this with your finger, they'll crawl up your leg, yeah. and like because they, th- you might have a peanut or something. Yeah. <laughs> there was a kid in my neighborhood. There was a squirrel named Charlie who would, who who did that. It clearly had been like trained or something. How did you um, discover its name was Charlie? We all called it Charlie. I don't know. It was like it was it was it was folklore. I don't know. Was, see, that's, see, well, that, Charlie's Joseph. Like the, that was a very squirrel obsessed question. Like you wanted, you, how, how did you get so close to the squirrel? Like he, like he, he told you his name. Yes. I remember just crawl up your leg. It was the most amazing thing to have a squirrel like 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 use your pant leg. Like like to yeah. like, like scale you as if you're a tree and you're like and it's like right there it's a wild animal but it's like and then you just feed it a little nut or something 
or or you go sorry i was just seeing if you do that <laughs> i don't walk around with nuts i saw you and um and what, then, what form joseph what form does your squirrel or did your squirrel obsession take like wh how uh, did that manifest so uh i was doing uh, uh like just sketch comedy stuff and uh i was doing sketch comedy with my brother and he was like hey I, I think what this sketch needs is for you to be dressed as a squirrel uh and uh, my girlfriend does costume design, so she wants to make you a squirrel costume. So I was like, sure, okay. Uh, so I dressed up as a squirrel, and then I decided, like, oh, I should be, like, real method about this. So, <laughs> so, so you, you didn't know that you had a squirrel thing until this... Uh, yeah. This is your origin story. Yeah, this, okay. is, my, <laughs> this is how I became Squirrel Man. Uh, yeah, so then I started watching squirrels all the time. And I think the thing that has... <laughs> Not on TV. Uh, yeah, in real life. Yeah. In real life. Because um, I, I don't want to get political, but there's not a lot of squirrels on TV. <laughs> no, it's pretty much uh, Rocky. And Uncle when they and are, they're like, oh, I'm... Uh, they're dumbasses. I love nuts. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, well, Dan, you're, you're, you're a writer. I've noticed you haven't put a lot of squirrels in your shows. Yeah, but the thing is, that's that's because uh, of meritocracy. Uh, the fact is, uh, uh, you, know, you Dan, need to I... talk to the agencies. There's not a lot of talented squirrels hey, out there. God damn it! You can deflect all you want. You... Big old squirrel planet in Rick and Morty. I think it would work. <laughs> all right, so, so... <laughs> G give us give us another obsession. Give us another specific. Uh, this is this sounds like a joke uh, because it is, but it is also true. Well, to uh, be fair, squirrels sounded like a joke too. <laughs> uh, I have I have been thinking a lot about shame. Uh, I have been sort of obsessed with how people internalize shame because I think a lot of comedians is, uh, make jokes about feeling great shame, uh, but. And I do that too. And then I also do feel shame. So I, I, right now I've been obsessed with thinking about exactly how we all develop our different ways of sort of internalizing that we should feel guilty and question everything we say. Did, uh, you, did you change the subject from squirrels? They kind of they kind of go hand in hand <laughs> because squirrels are burying their shame for no, the no, winter. No, no, I, I asked him for another example. I asked. Him oh, for okay. A, well, that was fucked up. I mean, we hadn't. I mean, getting a straight answer on the squirrel thing. Did you ever get to the bottom of it? Uh, I think that Jeff, don't you uh, be ashamed of yourself, <laughs> Dan? You're obsessing right now. I'm in a weird mood tonight, and I I think I did one of those things where I forgot I took the Adderall and then I took another one. <laughs> And then I also thought, because I was in Westwood, I was like, oh, it's going to be a really long Uber yeah. drive. So I, 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 I felt okay, like, taking an extra, like, vape hit on the, on the <laughs> thing. And then I was like, and then I got here, and I was like, you came in, and I was like, oh, social. Uh. Yeah, this is perfect for my squirrel uh, obsession, because the reason I'm obsessed with them is I love how much they are full of energy and then suddenly slow down and just focus on one thing. And mm -hmm. I feel like maybe that's the drug combination that you've created. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's called a speedball, I think <laughs> they call it. So you, what, what do squirrels slow down for? Do you mean hibernating, or do you just mean like when, they, when you catch them at a good time? Like... Well, uh, yeah, sometimes they just like totally chill out. It's in this very fixated way, this very obsessed way, but, you know, they will be like, I I'm, I'm excited by everything around me. I have to analyze everything, right. and then they'll just like settle into one thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting at an audience member. <laughs> I don't even know why, but it's fucking captivating. I can't let go of it. And there's something like both like uh, ridiculous and noble about that weird squirrel movement that just like makes sense to me in a strange way. Yeah, I like squir squirrels kind of trick you because you, you, they're, they're notoriously skittish. They they uh, they, they scamper and they they're hide. They're squirrely. And, and if they see you, they're the super squirrely. <laughs> Um, <laughs> More they, stereotyping. Like, you'll, you'll see one climb up a tree, and you'll get, you'll walk toward it, and you go, oh, I want to get close up to that squirrel on on the tree. And then it goes around the tree and hides from you on the other yeah. side of the tree. Yeah. But then it'll kind of poke his head around there, and like you, you think, okay, this squirrel, he, he knows that I'm his friend. Right. I'm going to get close to the squirrel. And no, they just lie. Yeah. <laughs> no. I like, I like that they, are, they alone, I mean, lots of rodents can climb trees. Yeah. Um, uh, but but they like they really going, make a Spider Man business. I like out of when it. they're they going like down. Live vertically. When they're climbing yeah. down. They go nuts. They're, 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 they they really go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> for the for the fresh yeah. almond so taste dope. of new. <laughs> <laughs> but like when they're climbing trees down, and they're just it's totally natural for them to be pointing straight down. And it looks like just just like they're going up. The tail doesn't the tail doesn't flop over. Tail stays right where it should. I bet they. Yeah. I, I bet they barely know. I bet for them it's like when you play an alien in that old Alien versus Predator game, uh, <laughs> and it's like you get you have to like retrain your brain to, to like not you know think of anything as the floor. I bet that's how squirrels feel. 
I bet they do, I bet they give zero fucks yeah, of what's just, up yeah. and down. I think they don't give a fuck. I think they they act squirrely. They but probably they give more fucks you. than an insect. And yeah. I'm obsessed with insects. You are. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but not to the point where I'm smart about them. Like I don't read about I don't read about anything. I don't but think I, obsession is about knowledge. That's I think it's about I how much you think about. about. Yeah. I don't think it's about knowledge. Sometimes people come on the podcast and they want to be like, I've looked up all of the facts about new kids on right. the block or whatever, and like I don't care how much you know about new right. kids on the block. It's, it's how you it affects you. Oh, it's a, so it's, you, that's a good example. Like to use new kids on the block, like like yeah, looking up all the facts about them, it wouldn't break into obsession because that's something a fan might do. Obsession is the threshold between that and um uh like 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 it's it's taking a piece of new kids on the block and like somehow god damn it i thought i don't know why i why I, I thought i had a point and it was just your point from before it's a, but it's, a, it's 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 like saying like oh i the, the new kids on the block like like this is a i made a new kids on the block cookie jar but it's like beyond it's not yeah. just fandom it's like um i did it because i feel like the new kids on the block music like would hold cookies better. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, like yeah. extrapolation I mean, <laughs> on a on a kind of a, a kind of a. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, a, a it's, it's giving that that the, the thing you're talking about meaning that it that it doesn't that it shouldn't have. Like that it's, you've taken, sorry, it's taking it out of its realm and putting it into some other realm that affects you in some way that it shouldn't ever have, have been supposed to. Right? Yeah, trying to make it a part of you. And sometimes yeah. people on the podcast aren't like they're just like like it in a super super healthy way. Uh, but I love it when it's just affected people in a really weird See, way. See, like I, I wouldn't say I'm obsessed. I, every time there's a lyric that I'm singing along and the word is girl or word. World, I say squirrel. I just do that automatically. I fucking love you. Yeah. <laughs> because like like when we like Greg Prips and Ryan Styles, like we we'll make that five minutes of our show of just doing all of that. <laughs> like a squirrel, squirrel, squirrels, <laughs> hiding nuts and fuzzy butts. Yeah. I like squirrel. You're gonna be a woman soon. Squirrel, myself. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. My, I love it's it. Very complex. Because the squirrel is brown, <laughs> it turns me on. Oh, those good ones. Yeah. I don't like you guys getting along like this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that, that doesn't count as obsession. That's just more of just kind of a fetish, right? That's just fun. Yeah, yeah. that's a fetish. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, that's a fun improv well, game. Well, yeah, fetish because like, like, I, I made a quick list like on my way out the okay, door. Cool. I was like, okay, pantyhose, redheads, Minecraft, race, uh, personal technology, systems, rules, structure, coconuts, and biology. Right. Like, uh, <laughs> like, like, but, but some of those are fetishes. Like, like right. pantyhose is a fetish. It's like I can't ignore... <laughs> I can't. I can't not think about like like um, like sheer fabric. Right. Uh, it, um, it arouses you in a sexual. If it's manner. in the room, it doesn't matter. It's not like if uh, if you're you know you don't have to worry about me like babysitting your sheer fabric clad nana. Uh, like I'm not. I'm not gonna do anything because of it. But I. But I am gonna be unable to to ignore. Like you need to, you, is it that you need to look at it or you, yes? Like I don't need to touch it like okay. I, I want to make that very clear too like but I, do you I, have I, to tell that to yourself do you look at it and have to say don't touch I, don't it. touch <laughs> it well okay that gets i mean like yeah <laughs> well because i'm talking about when you talk about a fabric fetish it yeah. is i mean it's so much of it is like uh, is like what would that what would that feel like yeah. i guess so i gotta i gotta be even though it it it, it makes me feel unsafe <laughs> like i i should say yeah well that's that's like it's a it's like i want to touch it yeah but, um, yeah, okay, all right. Was there a childhood thing that made you attach to pantyhose, or do you just associate I, them with, I like, the 70s and... was, like, a very pantyhose-clad time. It I really think was. People were, women were, it, 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 it just, like, on TV, and, well, like, which I spent most of my time watching, but then, like, even, like, the women that would come over to visit with my parents, coworkers, and things, like, any any encounter with femininity during that that magical time when I'm sure like it, I, my theory may be oversimplification but I truly think that human beings are like these little pieces of popcorn and like we simmer and we and then like there's you cannot control the moment that your kid pops right. um, and that at that point like they might be looking at a coffee filter um, <laughs> there, 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 there's a there's a good chance they're going to be looking at a previously right. propagated like mainstream kind of channel of sexuality right but there's also like then there's like the all the ancillary stuff it's just like i was probably under a table playing with toys and trucks because i i didn't like to look at people i didn't like to make eye contact i i, I and i so I, I was frequently under the table near the people 
and I probably at that age when everything just exploded, I, yeah. I when I think about it, it like spikes my. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I bet. Like I yeah. just like 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 there were just like women with pantyhose on, like 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 probably just like hanging out, like playing dominoes or something above me. <laughs> and some some of them were probably ants and you know who knows. Right, and that's probably where you get some of the the dip and dangling and popping like like the shoe it's, stuff it's too. That's, the, that's under the table the stuff too. Like, yeah. That was that was what the that was that was what femininity sexuality yeah. eroticism was for me and then that was tied to like uh bat uh, like like bat girl and like i like 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 the, the 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 like women's legs clad in like sheer fabric yeah that was like a superhero thing and it was also like a like a uh, uh, like the the solid gold dancers and the I don't know anything that was had anything to do oh, with the solid gold and dancers. showmanship yeah. and like right. uh, and your aunt playing dominoes yeah Lonnie so, Anderson on WKRP <laughs> and like so uh, now does does it transfer though from sexuality and from a woman's legs to like when you see like a uh, bank robbery in TV and something yes. has like pantyhose yes 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 like, yes, oh, yes I go God. how can that guy rob that bank without getting a heart on yes <laughs> I, I, I go I go that's fucking weird I don't I don't literally not literally but 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 I actually do think I th like like if I think about like when guys like in movies when they are going to rob a bank a guy goes like okay put these on like I I get distracted by because I go like how come nobody's having a conversation about how this feels <laughs> like perverted like because yeah. it's it's pantyhose and and I'll I'll, I'll do you one better for, uh, nylon is frequently used as a windsock or whatever you call it like a, for to block your plosives in audio recording yeah. so you get the regular ones that you buy that they're professional but then if you don't have those on hand you can make one of those. A coat hanger and some pantyhose. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and so yeah, like I always anybody else is probably just like, oh, that's just an object. And I I get into a record booth. And I'm like, so anyway, whoa. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check, check, check. Check. Oh, check. <laughs> I did, did, I, there was a time, Dan. I, we were, I think we were at the drawing room or somewhere, and I had these new socks that, like, they kind of pulled all the way up, and they were very sheer. I'm like, "Hey, Dan, check these out. I, like, feel these." And, and you, you reached over and felt them. You're like, "Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing?" You're, I was like, "Oh shit, I forgot." <laughs> Well, no, like, you I, didn't forget. You were fucking with me. No, 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 no. You, 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 I, 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 I've never had you felt one of my socks. No, no, no. Like, I, I'm saying <laughs> I didn't go into that thing thinking like, oh, I'm going to play with Dan's yeah, like, like you did. fetish. That's why you brought it up. I what... Maybe, maybe. But I, I didn't know that was going to get that reaction. I thought you would go, oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> but you reached over and kind of just like reflexively just touched it. And then you had this big reaction to it that I was not expecting at all. Well, I uh, I would refine that memory and go like that you were you, know, you were like so what do you think of these and, and I was like all right take it easy and you're like touch them I'm like I'm not gonna touch your fucking pantyhose socks and you're like come on touch them and, and I was like all right fine I'll touch them Jesus Christ what are you doing <laughs> that's that's right, okay that's that, what that, it was. that sounds fair enough uh, now now Joseph how would you rate that on your obsession. Do you have an obsessive scale? Is there yeah, a yeah. I ask questions. Uh, do you want to do it about pantyhose? These, these are the questions that I use to write I, the obsession. Dan also oh, okay. said coconuts. I want to get back. I'm going to put a pin in coconuts. <laughs> okay, you want to... No, no, no. Let's stick with pantyhose. pantyhose? I, want, I want to see where this one falls. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do pantyhose and go to coconuts. <laughs> I feel like that's a fucking Marx Brothers movie. For there. pantyhose and coconuts? <laughs> pantyhose and coconuts. Wap, wap, wap. Wap, wap, wap. Oh, that's three. That's <laughs> stooges. Uh, <laughs> here's, here's some of the questions do you think about pantyhose every day yes <laughs> like even if you don't see them you'll just be walking along doing yes. your business and then just think ah pantyhose <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh i think but, about I, I, but i see them everywhere I mean, so like, there was no, there would be no way. But if I was locked in a cell, which yeah. I probably should be, <laughs> uh, you'd be thinking about pantyhose twenty four hours a day. I would definitely, I would, I would figure out a way to think about them. Yeah, you'd like etch them on the walls. They would of your come prison. into my head. Yeah. Okay. But but like I always like I'll be I'll be watching a movie. Like I was just watching Now You See Me Too. <laughs> And I just like I, I just it has nothing to do. It's like um, uh, God damn it, I forgot her name. Two broke girls. Uh, uh, she they they replaced uh, Isla Fisher with her in a weird on the nose way. And now I kept Lizzie Kaplan is the is the new one female in Now You See Me Too. They add ninety five men, and uh, Woody Harrelson gets to play two men. But uh, I, Isla Fisher apparently now you don't. Uh, uh, 
And so Lizzie Kaplan at one point, like she 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 wears like uh, knee high. She wears like boots that come up past her knees, and like uh, not like a short skirt, like a, like a thigh length skirt. So there's there's like this much thigh showing okay and it has nothing to do with like prurient interest honestly and i was like trying because i was watching it with cody and it was just like i don't even know it's like like i like i but it goes into my head like if i see a shot in a movie where anybody lands like or it's like like somebody's what like I, I just like i my mind like like says whether or not they're wearing not like like pantyhose in well, the, like you feel like you can identify quickly yes like you're an expert and like i you ran through it with them. cody and i was because she, 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 i feel more comfortable talking to her about this stuff and i was like but and it was interesting because it wasn't a definitive thing and it was like it was definitive in my mind yeah it was which i think is obsession because it's like why would you even have that because she rewound so have it like and she was like well it's her legs are the same color as her face and her hands though what are you basing it on and it was like i couldn't even really pinpoint it i was just like i don't <laughs> you have pantyhose confirmation bias i have i have i have i have for joseph i'm glad you finally said the words to him <laughs> I have because I've I known have, it for so long, and I just I just never feel like the time is right. I have I have pantyhose uh, confirmation apparatus, which is already weird, right? <laughs> yes. Like why you shouldn't even okay, not shouldn't. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter, but it's like it's not. It's 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 uh, that denotes okay. Right, so, yes. So every day, every day, every day. Okay. Uh, have you ever had a dream about pantyhose? Yeah. Well, God, oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, that, yeah. That's <laughs> a wasted question yeah. on my part for sure. Uh, if you could steal pantyhose from someone's home, I have. Oh. <laughs> I have done it. How is this going to apply to ants, by the way, or coconuts? <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't steal coconuts from anyone's home. <laughs> I have. I have. I have robbed. Trusted. Uh, yeah. I, okay. that's what, I was young. I was younger, and I like crossed that threshold. I was like, oh. You need to fucking own this. Yeah. Okay. You, you stole pantyhose. You need to go buy them at the grocery store and stop being embarrassed. Like, you need to, like, pretend you're buying toothpaste and also... Are oh. they, like, hidden behind your air conditioner, like Dexter's blood slides, or, like... <laughs> what do you, do you, do you Did you collect them when you stole them? Or no, did they you weren't, just... like... It wasn't, it wasn't, like, about her, like, sniffy, like, panty... No, it wasn't, like, I'm taking an article of women's clothing because of her. It was... I, 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 was, I, I, keep, I keep going like, oh, no, 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 not like that. And I don't want, any, I don't want anyone listening that has any predilections. I mean, right. I don't want anyone to ever feel ashamed of themselves. But I, I, so, so I, I'm pulling back on my pulling back. But no, for me, it was like, no, it was like a new package. And I was like, fuck, I'm never going to get this chance again. Okay. But then you just appreciated them. Like you just like appreciated them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. While, while, while kneeling and rubbing his nipple. And listening to Radiohead. Yeah, I, 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 I jerked off with them. I, okay. I, I have at one point, I was, I was like, well, maybe you're, I mean, come on. Maybe you're like Ed Wood. And I like, tried them on. And I was like, see if that's yeah. working. Um, you know, that, that didn't work out. And like, uh, the, that, but I've done, I've done everything you could uh, think of. And uh, yeah. that's why you don't know me as well as these kids. But I, yeah, I have like, I have mannequin legs and things that I'll, I put, I buy, I go to the store, buy them. Okay. Now there's Amazon, thank God. You can just get a box of, and then just on the leg. Now I have a, now I have a girlfriend who <laughs> knows the whole score. And so I don't really have to right now do a lot of like commerce based. <laughs> What's the next question, Joseph? <laughs> But yes, I yes yes I would steal them from someone's home. But I say that with all yeah. due shame because I was like 23, and as soon as I did it, I was like, "This is huge. Okay. You need to." You, I'm not. I, I I don't mean. I, I just want to clarify. I don't think it's cool to steal from people. Right. That's all. Right. No. I, I like like it was a, it was a. I, no, I if, have, if but you I were, have you, done it. You'd be robbing banks with a boner. <laughs> That'd be funny if that. The <laughs> which, which, by the way, up, was the up. worst was the worst this, Marx Brothers movie. This, this poor female friend, she she finishes doing dishes and comes upstairs like, "What are you doing?" And I've got the pantyhose on my head, and I'm like, ah, "I'm robbing you." And she's like, "Of what?" And I'm like, "These." And I I just run out with them on my face. <laughs> And she's like, well, I d don't want them. Yes. <laughs> They're four ninety nine. <laughs> well, I'm embarrassed. I wouldn't want anyone to think I'm a pervert. Uh, I'll tell. Can I tell you just something? Oh, just, just, just like, like, like I. 
I, 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 it was during a barbecue at a, at a, at a, at a, fr at a platonic friend's place. And during it, I, I like, I, not only did I, I didn't just, I, I, I took, I, I had, a, I, they, they, she had a lot of them and, and wore a lot of them. God bless her. And, uh, <laughs> and I felt like she would never miss them. Cause if I did like, so, cause obviously it's like cowardly things. So if I thought it would like, be noticeable, it was like, because of the circumstances I was like, this is your big chance. <laughs> now, now I look back on that and go, you fucking pussy. Just, just own your perversion <laughs> and like go to the, but, but, but that this was my first like kind of reckoning. Were you going to say I, own your perversion and go to the grocery store? Yeah. Is that what yeah. you're going to say? <laughs> I just, I want that phrase out in the world. So. <laughs> it's, my, it's my license plate yeah. frame. That, that's, that's your keep, keep calm and carry on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I, I, took, I took a package of, of, of pants. So, I like to dress up as squirrels. <laughs> and and I, I'm I, going to Ralph's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hid them in a bush uh, <laughs> that I would that that between our homes. Right, that's just, just just like a squirrel would. <laughs> I, yeah. I, bur I hid them. You yeah, I burrowed them. Away, them. Yeah. I, I that's I, you know, I hope that my candor somehow it's, this is great balances that. No, but I also feel like I'm a woman and I'm listening and I'm going like I knew it like 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 <laughs> not, ab about about that gender in general. But yeah, I guess if there's anything I can do to encourage that fear i would yeah <laughs> i mean, like, like like we're like, like we're, we're we're dangerous people <laughs> all right next question all right sounds good uh i was a friend and i hit her painting i was in a bush <laughs> so i could take them home and i said mean, that's fucked up i'm just admitting this now for well, the you first put the, time you, out loud <laughs> you put them in the bush so you could retrieve them later on so you, yeah and take them home yeah, i was like okay. i was like i was like i'm gonna put these here because i'm not gonna walk around at the party <laughs> Were they, were they were they in a full what kind of package? Well, they were they were they were the Hanes like in the flat package. Gotcha. So yeah, you couldn't just put those like yeah, in your pocket. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I could have. Well, I could have, but that would have taken like any some strange form of courage in the face of my coward. I, yeah. I, this, uh, every move had to be cowardly. So. But you had to get them out of a room to an outdoor area where there right. was a bush. Yeah. So how did you get them? Like, did you put them like inside your sweater? Like what? Yeah, did you it, was do? A, it was a barbecue. I just put I tucked them away and like. And I, I, I'm like, I gotta get rid of this shame so I can forget about it. Now that I've committed the crime, profited myself, I'll just bury the body, go back to the barbecue, and then, uh, oh, <laughs> look what I found in this bush. When did you, <laughs> what, what, when did you return to the bush after the party was over? Yeah, like, like in the middle of the night or what? I, I don't know. Like, I'm. I'm like, were people after still there? The, after the after I was done at the barbecue, yeah, yeah I was, I knew, I was oh, just gotcha. like I was going like I have this weird chance through all these circumstances like. Like I, at that time, the whole thing, the whole context was, I never thought it was possible to be so unashamed of this like fascination and obsession that I, that I, I felt that there was no Amazon and there was no, I just, I just, I had, and I had never just like bought a pair of pantyhose. This is your only access then. This, this was, was like this was the, the opportunity. This was the threshold, like from like looking at photos of women wearing it and, and to, to like, and then and I was robbers, like, I've yeah. never, I've never actually like really. Had you like, ever thought about like, before that moment? Have you, had you ever thought about, could I just go and buy them or that, that not occurred to you at all? I had thought about it and then I had been like, oh, but I can't do that because like, I was, I don't know. I was just scared. I was so ashamed. Like I right. just thought, I don't know what I thought would happen. Just like somebody would go at the grocery store, I would go, so toothpaste and what are these for? <laughs> because it's not Halloween. <laughs> and and you, these are taupe. They're not like uh, Robin Hood. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? I don't know. It's like, like when you feel shame, like you don't even really, it's a, to me, it's like it's not, there's nothing logical about it. Like it's, it's you, you think everyone everyone will know and yeah. like like things that they would have you you bother to run through it's like the telltale heart you know it's like yeah like you're go, <laughs> you, you do the extra math like like so so the things that you'll do to avoid right you imagine what everybody else and that's is the say. dangerous thing about shame which is why i think it's like like that's the thing is like the more the creepier a thing the more that we don't want to look at it and like we go like oh well i know one thing for sure i feel better about myself as a mainstream citizen because that guy's really weird the thing is the, that's a, there's a little tax levy to, uh, on that, <laughs> uh, I, I think, and like this isn't self justification. This is like my because like, of my taste of it. I feel bad for people that 
like wouldn't be able to say into a podcast and therefore feel like, like yeah get some sleep at night. I like, mean, I think that's a positive part of discussing obsessions. Is I think in general our culture is moving towards sort of like. Uh, Whatever you love, you do you, and being right. loud and proud about it. Uh, and I think that it is great that you are being loud and proud about pantyhose. <laughs> I, loud, but not, <laughs> not just, just, just loud. Joseph, real quick, I, I, I want to get back to the question okay, yeah, on, yeah. on pantyhose, but I have a side question. Yeah. The last question was, have you ever stolen? Yeah. Have you ever stolen blank? But yeah. let's, say, let's say we had picked race, which is one of the things. Dan, <laughs> have you ever stolen Dan? race? <laughs> I've co-opted it. We all have. <laughs> it's called rock and roll. <laughs> do, do you, I steal race every we day. We built this city on appropriation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we built this, this city. Uh, uh, do you uh, do you just not use that question, or do you apply that question somehow? Like. Uh, this, this, you have you ever stolen? You couldn't. Say. Yeah, I try. I alter them if I have to. Gotcha. I had somebody who just wanted to talk about fear, you know, and I didn't <laughs> ask them, "Would you steal fear?" You know? <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't want to accidentally launch a DC comic. <laughs> <laughs> Man of Steel too. Would you steal Would you fear? Steal fear? <laughs> who, 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 who are you? <laughs> fear thief. <laughs> My story begins in Saigon. Uh, yeah, so I tried to alter him. I dig it. Okay, so cool. uh, 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 moving on, maybe? Okay. Uh, Fear thief. <laughs> I want Armenian fan art of Fear Thief. I like it because it's like an FX series because it would just say Fear, period, Thief, period. <laughs> but the title of the show would be FearThief.com, Fear Thief. hashtag, like, you know. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, <laughs> would you discuss pantyhose with Hitler? Would I discuss pantyhose with Hitler? Yeah. Almost certainly. <laughs> yeah, because i got to figure he's tired of talking about genocide. <laughs> And I'm not going to ask any new questions about yes. that. No, no, I don't really. I mean, Hitler would talk about race, maybe not coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. I would. Yeah. I mean, if it, I'm going to, I'm going to create a situation where I'm in a conversation with Hitler. Absolutely. Because it would, it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Forget what you've read at Alex Jones' uh, YouTube site. It's YouTube site. Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> Jones's YouTube site again. YouTube? <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> um, I'm, I, I figure like I'm like it's like a cosmic situation. Like, yeah. I'm, like a, and I'm kind of stuck with Hitler for a while. Like right. it's not like the um, I'm going there to like I can't kill him and I can't like talk him out of. You know I can't. I, I'm not gonna. I, I, I'm 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 absolved of like. Yeah. You know, of, yeah. like engineering like I, I you know i don't have to do anything that people are going to yell at me for doing yeah or you're not doing. stuck in a void with hitler yeah, yeah. Right. You, you talked like about pantyhose talk. you could have killed hitler i would i would i would so I, would, I would i would go i would you know i would try to go like oh hey hitler like i'm picturing like we're like treading treading like eth <laughs> etheria like like because we've both had some kubrickian fucking mishap and so I, i'm just like eye to eye with him like and some weird like whirlpool and we're like don't know how long we'll be facing each other and like Michelangelo's whipping by going like and of course Marco Polo like you know. <laughs> Marco <laughs> oh, he'll be back again uh, the <laughs> but then and then I, like for some reason I'm like faced off with Hitler like it's like like the current's going both of our ways yeah, like, like hey Hitler him. and he's like Dan Harmon and I'm like <laughs> like did you, did you so you're familiar with me and he'd be like like uh yes uh for whatever reason I yeah I saw community it was like did you like it and he's like <sighs> <laughs> Yes, and I'm like, yes, ah, uh, shitty. I just want everyone to like it, but it's Hitler. So we'd get my shit out of the way, and then I'd go like, I'd go like, so why Hitler? Like, why would you do that? Do what? Like, well, why did you, why did you Hitler everybody? Uh, well, I didn't. Okay, well, that's what everybody says. Uh, nobody says I didn't. I'm not Hitler. Uh, and then I go like, well, so like, what, what, what? Tell me like what you were really passionate about because there's the whole art versus like uh, genocide dichotomy. As if if your teacher had told you you drew good, you wouldn't have k killed six million people. And he's like, I'm gonna stop you there. I didn't kill six million people. And I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to have. I don't want to take part in a revisionist conversation. <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> 
And, and he'd be like, it's like, 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 don't, don't, don't compare me to Hitler just to win an argument. And I'm like, you're Hitler. <laughs> So eventually it would it would run into like this rhetoric wall. Right. Like, like, and I would go and I'd go like, okay, fine. So let's talk about anything other than the Hitler stuff. And he'd be like, yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs> and I'd be like, fine. And I would, I think one of the third or fifth things I would yeah. get around to is like, what is it? So what are you into? Like, 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 do you like, like. What popped your little kernel popcorn? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, what do you, are you like, you think you're a little, like, where do you think you are on the Kinsey scale? Or like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 what do you do? Like, do you like, are you a boob man, a butt man, a leg man like I would have gotten there yeah okay so do you feel like if you're you're swimming in Etheria you were swimming in the void that did treading, not have water treading Etheria by the way I, I, I coined oh. Etheria and if you ever tread in it from now on you owe me five cents a minute so you're treading Etheria <laughs> such a great drug term uh, and Hitler comes up to you right. and says like I'd like to engage you about pantyhose. Oh, would you be uh, like, no, fuck off, Hitler. I'm not. No, I'm not. I would be like, holy shit, what? <laughs> Is there, so pantyhose are more significant than I even thought? Like, yeah. I'd, okay, if, if, anyone, if anyone ever, yeah, if anyone ever, like, came up to me and was like, we should, let's have a conversation about pantyhose, I would be like, it's like saying Minecraft. Like, I'd be like, okay, okay. yeah, like, you have three hours of my time. <laughs> <laughs> but Excellent. that doesn't count after the show. <laughs> I, I go. I go back there. I call an Uber and I. Because you, 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 you met a guy once that says like he used to. He, he goes at night and takes photos of a of a certain storefront that has mannequin legs in it, right? The, the, in uh, in New York. Was, was, was oh, there, yeah. I met a guy at a bar that did that. Yeah, that had a mannequin thing. Yeah. And you, uh, and you guys had like a good night, nice, like like a, like a very interested, like healthy conversation about like like just getting to the bottom of what that is. Uh, I don't. Well, I guess. Uh, that's a shame because I don't remember a damn. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, so next question, we kind of already talked about a little bit. Uh, would you get a pantyhose-related tattoo? <laughs> no, but that says more about my obsession with not getting tattoos. Than <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, because yeah. no, I wouldn't because I so a lot of it is rooted in kind of shame, and I also felt like like on one hand I feel like that would be healthy to overcome like shame in general like tox okay my therapist says there's good shame like a toddler has shame when they're they're if they're if they're at the top of a set of stairs and the parent goes no like like don't. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's like you get so then every time you get near a you know big flight of stairs you feel like this jolt of like oh man i don't want my mommy to get mad at me which it's, it's like by falling downstairs and like there's good uses for right. shame toxic shame is it benefits nobody and stuff like that so i have a lot of toxic shame about well just in general about everything <laughs> so i'm trying to figure that out i don't think I'd, I'd ever but aside from that i think a tattoo would just ruin everything because a tattoo is like a superman logo it's like here's my yeah. here's my thing and i, I kind of I, I i think i think i think the pocket of i think there's a little pocket of shame about it that's okay. like kind of i like the kink i like i like yeah the, uh, so, so you wouldn't, wouldn't want like an actual tattoo of pantyhose on your leg so you could always look down and see pantyhose no, on yourself no i, who, I who would want that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that seems silly uh but if somebody came to you and said you must have a tattoo would pantyhose be in the running if just like a you had to have a tattoo. I, yeah, sure, but so would Pac-Man and uh, okay, like I don't know because that would way have, up like, there. Okay, that's very helpful. Minecraft. I guess I'd probably get like a Minecraft tattoo. Okay, uh, I have one more question to, to rate your obsession, uh, and this is a weird one. It's very it's uh, strangely metaphysical, and you can interpret it how you'd like. If you could not enjoy looking at pantyhose without you or someone you love first being punched in the crotch, <laughs> would you still look at pantyhose? Me or someone I love, so yeah. I can pick me, right, all yeah. the time. Or you can pick someone you love, which sometimes people on the podcast do. They say, yeah, give it to Steve. Fuck him. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick, so sick of loving him. Uh, I, I, think there's a, I think there's a very real possibility. I would never, I think if, it, if someone else had to get punched in the crotch, even a stranger, even yeah. if, even if, even if, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, Robert Logia came over with a <laughs> magic button and said, you get to look at pantyhose every time you hit this button and somewhere someone will get punched in the crotch. I think I would, I would, I would, I would go, okay, well, obviously this is... Are you picturing Robert Logia as the enforcer, the one who does the crotch punching? <laughs> who is it? Oh, it's Frank Langella. I get him in... Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's from the button movie. Okay. The, uh, Wait, the, uh, I'm sorry, is the question... Every time you look at Panio, somebody gets punched in the nuts. Uh, you, you can you can get a subscription. In like, or, you can <laughs> right, so, do it so, once a month. So like depending Netflix. on the terms of the subscription, if I had to get punched in the nuts, yeah, in exchange for a year okay. of getting to. Look at pantyhose. Have pantyhose be a part of my life, yeah. like visually or whatever. Yeah, I would be like, okay. Yeah, so then after you took it for a year and uh, <laughs> the pantyhose gods came to you and said, I'm sorry, we need to up it to once a month. Would you go monthly? I, that, I'd, I'd, be, I'd start to go, what's, what's, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Like, but isn't there a terrorism happening somewhere? You, you, you don't. You don't question the pantyhose gods. I know. It's, uh, so I would start to go. Then I would start to. I think I would start to go. Well, okay. I'm. The, the, you're I being see where punished. This is going. You're and physically being punished by the gods for what you're doing. I would start to actually think about how t to kill the gods. Because <laughs> I'd be like, well, this is obviously a call to adventure. Like, because this is wrong to. And if I and if I found out I couldn't, and I would do it in a very cowardly way. Like, I would find out if there was a way to. Like steal their force field and put it in a bush at a party. <laughs> I love this. Is the beginning of your hero's journey. Uh, uh, but I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't want to. Well, because the thing is, like, I think it, uh, I don't want to. I don't want damage to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's you want to be able pa to pain. You know, right? So you take a punch in the arm. I would take a heavy punch in the arm. Okay. I would take a punch in the face. <laughs> So you take a punch in the face before you Once take a, a punch? Once a month? Yeah. Once a Once month? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hit, hit, uh, hit me as hard as you can. What if, I, what if you had... All, I, I, grew up, I grew up in the Midwest in the 70s. Like, I'd fucking hit me as hard as you can in the face. As, I, as, long as, I, as long as I don't lose a tooth, like, like fucking, and I get to okay. look at pantyhose for a month? What if you had full, full, unfettered access to pantyhose, however you wanted them, like, just like, no, like without fear of, of consequence or repercussion, but you lost nipple sensitivity? <laughs> No, 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 no. Not worth it. No, no, no deal. That's no what deal. I'm saying. No permanent damage. I don't want to alter myself in any way. Right. That's why I said I don't even want to lose a tooth necessarily. Yeah. I don't want to ever look at a record, but but pain. Fuck pain. See, and here's great because then I start to uh, figure out the boundaries right. of the obsession of tooth loss. I don't want nope. to lose myself at all in any way. And that was what that was a thing that I was going to talk to you about. But I guess we should get to the thing because oh, yeah, no, no, in compiling my list, I noticed a connection. And as an obsession, as a, a, a person obsessed with obsession, yeah. I was wondering if maybe you would shed some light See on the it. connections. It, it'll take us all out uh, of this. We should finish. Oh yeah, this, yeah. I we'll guess. wrap it up. Uh, I, I ask people to make a noise to sum up their obsession. Can you make a noise to sum up your obsession with pantyhose? <laughs> oh. Like fewer syllables to say. Well, yeah. hello there. Yeah, that's how. They, yeah, the 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 the. the, the I, oh, I didn't. I did, I I I I I. I, I, <laughs> I didn't know we got four days for Thanksgiving. I don't know. That's, that's, I was trying to think of a title for that sound. Uh, that's great. Uh, okay, it's, I think it's French I, uh, fries on the bottom of the bag. <laughs> Wow. I think there might be a food component to all of your obsessions. Oh, well, that's how I here. measure <laughs> <laughs> fucking worth. <laughs> how many fries are left in how my bag? How many calories? Uh, okay, are you, do you want, want me to rate your obsession level with pantyhose? I do. Okay, uh, so I use the number seven just for fun, and then I always uh, create a thing that seven Wait, things. Okay. You, you rate things by using numbers for fun? <laughs> the number seven is for fun, because sometimes people get obsessed with seven. It's arbitrary. Oh, are you saying it's a scale from one to seven? Yes. Oh, okay. Exactly. All right. Uh, so I'm going to say it is uh, seven aunts playing dominoes. Out of seven aunts playing dominoes, I think you are five out of seven aunts playing with dominoes obsessed with pantyhose. <laughs> All, right. All right. Like, it affects you on a daily basis, but you have, like, clear limitations where, like, I will not cross this line. I'm not, yeah, I would never, I would, yeah, I would never involve other, I would never take a toll on other people's lives. Yeah. Or even mine in a way that I could actually, would have to think about for the rest of my life. Yeah. yeah I don't think it's quite worth 
surgery or a permanent injury right. or, or impacting another. Do you think, Dan, there's something else on your list that would give you more Domino's ants? Um, I don't know. I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a primal sexual kink. So I think I, I'm pretty sure as far as like compulsion, like as far as what you could get me to yeah. compromise for. I mean, but that's, yeah. It's a, I mean, Minecraft, uh, how, many, how many ants do you think you would score on Minecraft obsession? I, would, I mean, Minecraft's like cigarettes or something like that where you – It's, it's to, addictive. I, I put it's, that more as an, an addiction, but – I am obsessed with Minecraft's yeah. addictive quads. Like, 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 holy shit! How can the how can one game be so good? Uh, <laughs> and why why can't anyone make a better game? Um, but uh, but while making that list, it was like I was like ants and biology and systems and rules. I, f- I find myself I think I I'm particularly like there's a huge component of my life is and my obsession with story structure and stuff like that is like I don't want to change at all right. like and i'm obsessed with the idea of simplicity order okay. systems right. rules cleanliness in a love hate way like i'm like i i i on one hand like refuse to be told what to do and i'm fascinated with anyone that t- tries to tell anyone what to do it doesn't matter and that's what and i think it trickles down to like my obsession with race and racism and gender politics and social uh, activism and all these things is because i'm always you'll find an equal number of people that like fucking loathe a thing that i say on both sides, like I'm a I'm a cuck to the fucking like uh, the, whatever you MRA call them, guys, yeah. yeah. And I'm a and I'm a pig headed fucking Belushi to the SJWs. Which I don't use the phrase SJW, but I'm like I'm like right in the middle because I'm always going like who's trying to tell me what to feel and yeah. think and and, and okay. for that matter who's trying to who's trying to tell anybody else what to think and feel. And then I'm also like like who says a who says a movie's hard to write and who says like why can't you? What? And it's all it all seems to come down to like this thing where I want to be like this dirty piece of shit like this pie of like organic gunk and i want to like come up with a way of like how can we all be that and like and, but but have it but have it all make sense right so you want to find a little bit of order within the chaos but you would like it if the order it maybe looks like a, a lump of crap i want to pr- maybe I, maybe it, maybe it's that i want to prove that the highest order of all it necessitates like chaos in in, in, in just being organic right yeah. so you're, like, you're describing like, like selfishly want to like create a system in my mind yeah. for myself or i want to die like i want i want i want to prove that i don't belong i don't know okay how do coconuts fit in with an obsession <laughs> with order because coconuts are like so like 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 i was like like there <laughs> there are this giant hairy floating nut Right. Um, so they're like a Lovecraftian food object. Yeah. They're they're like, just, they're, 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 they they're, should not be. They're like it's 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 like sperm in the form of like this liquid, and it, and the inner coating is like egg, or it's it might be the other way around. It's like a plant. Like, it's like, like there's gametes in the fluid, and there's ga- and there and there's like food stuff, like the milky coconut stuff yeah. on the inside of the layer that you like yeah. you can scrape it off and eat it. Like that's is delicious to the to that liquid i think yeah. as it is to the and, and I this don't, feels more sexual than the patios to me <laughs> <laughs> it is really super sexual and i'm so, I feel like biology in general like is so yeah i love i get like like the ge- genetic you know uh, here's something that i just realized i, I or like that i just realized it's okay to say now in this yeah. episode I, when I was in like ninth grade biology when we were first starting to learn about genetics i would get aroused by the discussions about dominant and recessive genes and stuff okay. like that, there was never any. There was no sexual component to it. It was nowhere near actual reproduction. Right. We were talking about on a cellular level, like D- RNA becoming DNA and all that stuff. I, I get aroused. Would you? Would you steal biology? <laughs> <laughs> Bio burglar. Uh, there's something about. And I, 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 yeah. Is, was it the recessive gene or the dominant gene or <laughs> no, the relationship the between of, the two? Are you a top or a bottom in the genome situation? Genes kind of turn me on. <laughs> the idea of genes, yeah. the idea of the idea of biology, the idea that we are we exist as part of some strange goopy mass, yeah. like like that started as just entropic like uh, uh, molecular collisions, and that something within that is like 
I want to be and I don't instead yeah. of not being and that that always takes this aqu- 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 aqueous soupy salty briny <laughs> visceral right. form like the primordial soup it's like exactly i kind of get turned saying. on yeah. so it's a system of order that functions that creates yeah things it's that like is very it's like scientific the but reveal that milky mud goop. is a computer it like make, gives me a boner <laughs> uh yeah a mind boner right <laughs> yeah uh, i'm saying like i really did when i was a kid I was, the, the thing is like when you're that age you're getting boners in geometry too like but i did feel like i like I was especially like titillated by yeah. all this talk of like, like the teacher would just go around the room and he'd go he'd go like so if you have curly hair and then you uh, uh, and then you reproduce with a so someone that has straight hair what are the and he'd do like the four quad you know the, the yeah. Gregor Mendel like chart I would find myself like going like I don't know, I don't know like curly hair and straight hair getting together and I was like I don't know I just like I can't like I could I was just like, like I, the idea of anything like like just just biology yeah. just like fucking like like it just like always turned me on right but it's not just random substances getting together it's substance to create order uh yes yes so it's, it's not it's, just like I'm gonna take this mustard and I'm gonna mix it with honey and wipe it around you're just like that's not interesting no that's to weird Ali yeah yeah. That's a, <laughs> yeah yeah no it's you're exactly right it is it, it's the it's the biolipid it's it's a, it's a, what do you call it? the lipid the lipid bio layer or whatever that's a, the, the membranes the science thing just, yeah it's like, like, fine. It's like, like all these like descriptions of how this shit works and how it yeah. is like like r- trying to accomplish something but it's like it's like goopy and like yeah yeah so you are obsessed with a primordial ooze that creates structure yeah (laughs) and pantyhose (laughs) but that goes to like imprisonment and things too you know in pantyhose fetishism there's like a thing called encasement which is like that's people who are so into pantyhose like nylon that they'll just like encase their whole bodies so there's like sites that are just like it's called encasement as a fetish so it's like head to toe okay like and you can easily do it with basically two pairs of pantyhose or three. Like you take you take one pair, pull it up to midsection. Another pair, you'd put your arms instead of your legs in and put yeah. your head through the crotch. And then take a third pair, put it on your head. Now you're encased. Now I haven't tried it. <laughs> but we had we we, we it had sounded a, like an infomercial. And now you're encased. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that easy. You can easy. do it five minutes a day. It costs less than a cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> Uh, Sometimes you can just find them in bushes, too. But you don't remember, even have to when, uh, remember when Adam Goldberg's roommate was on the show years ago before we went on the tour? Yeah. Adam Goldberg had a young lady who was his roommate. She came on and she she was, it sounded like she was a little bit into encasement a little bit. She was like, like skin tight spandex. Like it was like, uh, anyways, but uh, wait, I forgot what I was talking Oh, but it's like <laughs> biology reminds me of that. Like, yeah, it's, okay. it's, like, it's like this fucking zoomanity, like fucking like, like pushing your like hands against a membrane or something. Yeah. I don't know if it's like, I can't figure out if for me it's like it's this idea of like uh like cocoon or like is it does so, it have something to do with like uh like I like I want to airbrush all of humanity. I can't tell if I love okay. or hate order. Yeah. I that makes sense to me because you want to uh pre- when you get fascinated with structures of order it's always in some sort of messy sloppy way. Like at least aesthetically. Does that make sense? Y- yes. Yes. Yeah. Because I don't, because I'm not an engineer. I'm not an architect. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't go. I love systems. I'm gonna think about traffic all day. Yeah. I. I, I don't. I, yeah. I want. I want. I, I'm like. Uh, I'm interested in human shit. Like, I, and the fact that when you poop it out, it goes into a network of tubes underneath us. I want to talk about that. Or ants, which we yeah. try to like spray to keep out of our house, and the fact that they exist as an older species with a much more systematized yeah, way of thinking and emergent super behaviors. Organized, yeah. yeah. Like, I. Yeah. That it has something to do with the causticity of like. Most of the shit that we think is a system is bullshit. It's like a th- outgrowth yeah. that is actually what we think is order is actually chaos. It's a cancerous tumor growing on proper order. Proper order is God's order, which is mud and blood and yeah. cum and shit. It's organic yeah. and beautiful. 